Well, there's no New York without Broadway, and the documentary Broadway Rising, produced by Jesse Tyler Ferguson, puts the spotlight on the theater community that rallied after the pandemic forced the entire industry to shut down. Take a look. The move to cancel all Broadway performances comes after a part-time usher tested positive for COVID-19. It's going to feel like a really big honor to welcome audiences back to the Gershwin. Happy opening! Happy opening! to heal our people so they can go out and save the world. And Jesse Tyler Ferguson is with us now. Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. Listen, this was, you know, I was just saying to you that this was hard to watch, yeah. but important for us to all see. I mean, because we, we lived it, so now we're, we're kind of living it again through this. But, you know, there's a line in the documentary that says, we need to tell stories in order to survive. So when was it that you realized that this is a story I need to tell? Um, well, you know, I was I was in rehearsal for Take Me Out on Broadway when the pandemic hit, and I had to. I was one of those shows that shuttered for a little while, yeah. and I wasn't sure if I was going to come back. And uh, it was devastating for me. I was, you know, someone who was very secure. I had done 11 years of Modern Family. Right. I was fine, but I had a lot of friends who weren't going to be fine. Right. So a friend of mine, Amy Rice, who's an amazing documentarian, called me and says, "I want to do a, a, a documentary about Broadway returning from COVID." And yeah. I immediately was on board yeah. to try and help her put that together. And I said what it really needs to be also is about the entire community because yeah. so many people lost their jobs, not just the actors and the producers, but the doormen, the people who were like, do the dry cleaning for the yeah. costumes, the, the costume designers. The, it's, it, and so what I wanted to do is not only document Broadway coming back, but also make it a love story about the Broadway community. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, a lot of attention obviously was paid to the performers not having jobs, but it affects, it's it's citywide, yes. I mean, beyond citywide of how many people it affected. And Absolutely. it did kind of open your eyes to that. Um, so I, I imagine at what point was it a, a, a decision that we need to make sure that this is everyone's perspective, you know, from the ushers to the... Immediately. I said, I would love to do this, but it really does have to be about the entire yeah. community that makes Broadway happen. Yeah. You're right. The ushers, the doormen, the, the, again, the costume designers. So uh, I'm, I'm really proud of the movie, and I think it's a great sort of uh, microcosm of, of this incredible community that I, I love being a part of. Yeah, I mean, it is an incredible community, um, and it really kind of explores how people adapted through the pandemic mm -hmm. and how, you know, it, it honors lives that were lost. But, you know, as being a, from being a part of this community for so long, what did you learn or rediscover about this community in this process? Um, well, I mean, it's something I already knew, but it just sort of reconfirmed how resilient. Like, you can't keep yeah. Broadway down. Yeah. I mean, it's shut down once for, for a few days after 9-11, but this is the longest time it's ever two been days. shut. I, two I days. I think it's a two days. That's yeah. right. And this was, like, over 500. Yeah. So, uh, it, you know, but the, the Broadway community is so resilient, and, and, and the people who want to do Broadway really want to do it badly. I know. They're it, the best types of artists. Because you have to love it. It's, it's all yes. encompassing. It is your life. Yeah, so just reconfirm that for me. Because I had yeah. been away doing television for a yeah, long time. I know, so it's like, I know. it was nice to sort of celebrate this community with this, with this documentary. Yeah, but the documentary premiered at Tribeca. Mm -hmm. Was it the night after you won the Tony and right after Take Me Out Closed? That's right. I had a very busy weekend. Well, what a roller coaster <laughs> weekend that is. Yeah, but yeah. You know, what's been the most rewarding part? To, to be able to come back and have uh, Take Me Out back on Broadway and, and performing for audiences again. Well, yeah, you, I mean, the show closed and the next time we won a Tony Award, so we didn't get that victory lap. We didn't yeah. get to celebrate with one another. So being together again and being able to do the show for a few more months uh, till February 5th has been a, such a, yeah. a joy. And, you know, we've had four months away from the play, so, like, we came back and the performances were that much more rich. Yeah, in, I was going to say, how did you um, kind of approach your character? Did it change how you came back and approached your character? Yeah, I mean, I think anytime you're given space away from, from a character, it, it, you know, you come back. Even after, when I was doing Modern Family after, like, a summer hiatus, yeah. like, I always found, like, I had more in, to investigate with this character that I thought I knew forwards and backwards. <laughs> right. So. Uh, well, I know it's been a busy time for you because you just welcomed a second child. That's right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank How's you. it going? Is anyone sleeping? Uh, <laughs> yes, we're, we're trying. We're, you know, we sleep in shifts. I mean, I, my family's in Los Angeles, so I'm sleeping pretty well over here in New York. <laughs> yeah. I am going back like, and forth go, a lot. I gotta go. I gotta promote. Like, <laughs> I'm yeah. going back and forth a lot, and I'm you know sleeping on the airplane, but it's. Uh, you know, it's, it's a very busy time, whereas, you know, our first child was born during the pandemic, so we had yeah. all the time in the world. Now it's the exact opposite. What a opposite. blessing that was. Yes. Yeah. I love a happy medium between the, I know, <laughs> these yeah. two. Yes. <laughs> well, you're also in a new movie. It's called Cocaine Bear. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a true story. It's based on a Based events, on it. Yes. So, so tell me a little bit about it. Well, the real story is that a, a, a black bear found a whole bunch of cocaine in the woods of Georgia, ingested it, and then 
had, went into cardiac arrest and died. Yeah. But um, this movie is like, what if the bear instead went on a coked up killing spree? <laughs> so um, there you go. It's sort of and the title so it tells you exactly what it is. Yes. <laughs> and there you go. And there you go. Well, it's so good to see you and Thank catch you. up on everything you've got going on. And you can catch Broadway Rising in select theaters today. For more info, head to fathomevents.com.